Hello everyone, welcome to another GDevelop5 tutorial. So in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to create a checkpoint in GDevelop5. So I know there is a tutorial on um, the GDevelop5 wiki that shows us how to do this, but that only works with a scene variable. So that's why I decided to make this tutorial to show you how to create a checkpoint um, using a storage system. So open GDevelop5 um, preview. So I just want to show you what this would look like. Um, sorry, here we go. Okay, so here we go. Um, my play is in collision with the enemy. It restarts the whole scene, and if my play is in collision with um, the ch flag, which is my checkpoint, and my play is in collision with enemy, as you can see, it creates my play at um, the checkpoints. Okay, just show you that again. Here we go, it creates my play at the checkpoint. So I also place um I think another checkpoint in front. Here we go. So my play is in collision with this checkpoint and is in collision with an enemy. A um respawns my play at the last checkpoint. So I will be showing you how to do that. So close this, um minimize, open to develop five, create a new project platformer. Okay, scroll to the bottom. Let's add in an object sprite. Add an animation. Um, add. So let's add in the flags. Um, add an animation. Here we go. Open. So set this to loop. Um, rename this checkpoint one. Apply. Um, let's set this here. So here we go. News and events. Let's create a group. And I will rename this checkpoints. Okay. So add a subcondition. Sorry. Add a subcondition collision. So um, our player is in collision with checkpoints one. Player is in collision with checkpoints one. Right. In write a value storage name save group um, character x expression so you can just click on this on um, position here we go x position of player apply and ok so add an action write Add a value, storage name, save, group, mm, character, y, character y, expression, so it's the same for the y position of our player, here we go, y position of player, apply. Okay, so let's add an action on um, animation. We need to change the animation of our checkpoint one modification set to value of one. So we'll change it when our play is in collision with um our checkpoint. So add an empty event, add a condition collision. So player is in collision with object enemy. Enemy is a group, so which consists of all the enemies we have in the game. So okay, plays in collision with enemy. And um, let's add an action read. Read the value. So the storage save group um, character x scene variable position x. Okay, do the same again. Read, read a value, storage name, save, group, character, um, character y, scene variable, position y. Okay. So add an action, let's add an action. Um position 
position of an object that's the position of um, a hitbox do not use your player here else it will um it will respawn your player at the checkpoint and it will take your player back to your hitbox so we needed to respawn the hitbox since our player is attached to our player hitbox so modification sign set to um, on the x position variable now we will use the variable we created the position um x clothes modification sign set to y um variable um open the bracket position y and close this so okay now let's add a condition so let's fill in an event and um sorry a condition so that um so that so that the checkpoint only works when our player is in collision so add an action um storage so we need to check existence of a group storage name save group character um x character x okay so character x existence storage safe and now it will um carry out all these actions so let's preview this okay so here we go Sorry. about this phone preview so um here we go um uh, my player in collision with the checkpoint and I'm in collision with the enemy it creates my player at the checkpoint so um if I kill this okay as you can see um my player cannot kill Okay, here we go. Sorry, um, the death, the death sprite of our enemy still kills, um, the player. So we need to fix that. Close that. Let's add in um a condition here. Number of current animation. Sorry. Current animation of enemy. Sign of test is set to number to test zero. So the number of current animation of object is set to zero. Um, it will read um this from the storage. Okay, so let's run this. So here we go. Now, as you can see, our player can now uh, move without being killed by the death um sprite of our enemy close this now let's add in the second checkpoint um here we go duplicate this rename checkpoint two pull this as usual or just place this here um delete that okay let's return to our events here we go add an empty event Add a condition collision player player is in collision with checkpoint two so player is in collision with checkpoint two write write a value storage name same storage save group um character y expression player um player um sorry player y open and close the bracket okay so do the same we're just repeating everything here add a condition write write a value storage name save group character um character x 
sorry, no, not here. Expression player. Um, that's X. Open and close bracket. So okay. So let's add in um number of current animation. So it changes the animation. So change the animation of checkpoint two. Modification size set to value of um one. Okay. Okay. Let's preview this. The second checkpoint collision reading and here as you can see our character is recreated at this um which is our second checkpoint so let's read down to our first checkpoint as you can see if our um, player is in collision with the first checkpoint and okay so when our player is in collision with an um, enemy as you can see respawns our player at checkpoint It does the same here to a checkpoint too. So I will show you how to prevent um a, a player from reusing first checkpoint. So close this. Let's go add an empty vent. Here we go. Players in collision with checkpoints too. Let's add a condition um animation. Sorry. Current animation of checkpoint current animation of checkpoint two sign of this is equal to values compare zero do the same here add a condition um animation current animation of checkpoint current animation of checkpoint one sign of this equal to this um number of test number to test zero Okay, let's preview this. Here we go. Now our player is in collision with this and is in collision. It respawns our player at the first checkpoint. So here we go. If our player is in collision with the second checkpoint, um, this respawns our player at the second checkpoint. And let's return back. If our player is in collision with this checkpoint. Uh, it won't work anymore, so it will respawn a player at the second checkpoint and not the first checkpoint again. So, so close this and preview this again. Okay, so now, um, so now whenever a player is in collision with an enemy without any collision with um a checkpoint, it creates a uh, it creates our player at the last checkpoint here we are that's because it saves the last checkpoint and reads it when our player is in collision so we need to delete the storage um close this let's add an empty event here we go add a condition beginning of the scene at the beginning of the scene okay add an action delete we needed to delete um storage sorry Let's clear a storage um storage name save so we'll clear this um storage now let's run this preview this so here we go now our player is in collision with um an enemy as you can see nothing happens that's because we haven't filled in an event um for that so it doesn't respawn our play at the um last checkpoint so let's fill in something to prevent this um whereby nothing happens when our enemies in collision with our player close this add an empty vent add condition collision so um player is in collision with enemy player is in collision with enemy um add an action change to scene change to scene um new scene here it goes our so player is in collision with an enemy changes to scene and let's add a condition whereby this only happens when they um 
the storage the um sorry when we have no storage so existence of a group um storage name when we have no group sorry um safe group um character character x okay here we go okay so character x exists in storage invert condition so now character x does not exist in storage safe it will change to scenes or previous and here we go so our player enemies in collision with our player as you can see he respawns um he restarts the whole scene if our player is in collision with um our checkpoint on um, our enemy is in collision with our player he respawns our player at the checkpoint so here we go any of our player if we're in collision with the second checkpoint and we're in collision with an enemy here we go he respawns our player at the last checkpoint so um that's how it's done